Sometimes when you're in the field and you're actually taking a test or whatnot, some guys are not good at walking the cup whenever they get on the side of their pipe. For an example, you get up to about right here, and if for some reason you got too much pressure on your rig, you begin to slip and slide like this here. So, here's a way you could actually practice not putting too much pressure on your, on your pipe whenever walking the cup and coming up on the sides like this here. Because you gotta remember, as you walk the cup, you gotta adjust your pressure on what you press your cup. Visit www.christainer.com. Upload your hilarious construction videos and show your skills. Just follow the upload button, click, and follow the instructions. Against the pipe. Because you don't necessarily need that much pressure at all. And this is a little technique you could practice at home. Get yourself a tripod, get yourself a file or a piece of metal of some sort, and uh, practice. And I'm going to demonstrate it. So here's the deal. Whenever you begin to practice this technique here, if you put too much pressure on this piece, what's going to happen is it's going to look like this. It's going to shift to the side. So you got to actually have the right, the right amount of pressure. You want to have the right amount of pressure applied to the side of this pipe. Therefore, it won't, it won't move at all. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate on how to use the correct amount of pressure whenever coming up on the side of your pipe without moving this here. And as you can see, this is pretty, pretty much easy to move, but it's got weight to it. And if you're in a test booth taking your test, your pipe is going to be welded at a, at a 6G angle. And you can, put, you can uh, apply a lot of pressure to that pipe. But the thing is, you don't want to slip with your TIG cup on the sides of the pipe. So, stay tuned. What you want to practice, you want to practice walking that cup nice and lightly. Nice and lightly. Okay. And what like I said, this technique work when you practice. If you don't want to be on a test and and you get to the side of your pipe and all of a sudden you put you add in too much pressure to that cup on the side of your pipe and you slip forward, that can mess a lot of things up. You know, you could be doing a root pass, you could be capping, all sorts of things go wrong if you don't have this little technique down pat. So it's good to practice not applying too much pressure to your well cup. Ain't that right, Diego? Uh-oh. So again, it's good not to 
have too much pressure on this um, teacup. Okay? And that's what you want. You want to be able to walk a cup, be really light. You want to be real light. There's no need for you to bear down on your cup. You walk in the cup, you walk in light. You walk in light. So you won't have those problems of slipping forward. Okay? You got it? So practice it. Practice this technique. Get it down pat because this is really a, uh, an important part of you becoming good at walking the cup around these circular objects called pipes. And if you add too much pressure, what's going to happen is it's going to move forward. Like that right there. So, like I said, it's just a really good technique. That's going to gauge if you're adding too much pressure or not. And if you're not adding too much pressure, it's not going to move. But if you are, it's going to move every time. Thumbs up. And remember, whenever doing this, it's not a race. You're not racing. You're practicing on your technique, on how you can stay steady. And on this corner right here, I call it dead man's corner. So again, you're practicing on how you can stay steady and not slip when you, whenever you get to the side of these corners. You want to be able to walk the cup all the way around, all the way till you get to 12 o'clock. You want to be able to walk it from 6 to 12 without slipping it. So when it comes to making these welds, like I was just pretty much showing you a certain technique on how to keep yourself from uh, slipping as you come around the corners of the pipes or you're reaching towards the weld and you're actually uh, approaching 12 o'clock in the positioning of the pipe, um, you got to make sure you talk to yourself. For an example, as you begin to come towards the top of the pipe, you got to tell yourself what? Slow down, not too much pressure. You got to, you kind of coaching yourself as if your hand is a separate part of you, which it is, but in a sense, you see what I'm saying. Um, and that's what it all, it's all about. Whenever you're in the test booth, you, you got your 7018, and you actually, you're running your stringers to complete your test. As you get to certain parts that you usually have trouble with, you got to remind yourself, okay, the proper angle. I got to make sure I angle, you know, I want to point at the pipe. I want to kind of go around the pipe, you know. You got to coach yourself or else all sorts of things will happen that you don't want to happen. So the point is talk to yourself. Certain parts of welding pipe, some people have more trouble than others. But for the most part, that's what I do. Sometimes I'm, I don't get to do a certain process of welding for a while so I know I'm going to be a little rusty so that's what I do I talk to myself so look loosen up don't squeeze too hard you got too much pressure on the jig rig okay things of that nature that's a little good pointer uh, you can keep in mind because it does work it might save you uh, it might save you a little heartache and uh, yeah, I'll be back.